All right, we're here with wrestling legend Kendall Cross. How are you? Good. How are you, man? I'm great. Um, so, for the people who somehow don't know who you are, would you like to explain some of your accolades? Yeah, sure. Um, well, Kendall Cross, um, Olympic champion, uh, NCAA champion, Oklahoma state champion. That's kind of the the progress, <laughs> the progression from high school to through college and uh, wrestled at Oklahoma State and uh, two Olympics and one Olympic gold medal. And you accomplished just about everything you could accomplish. That's great. Um, so um, can you just walk me through about how you started with the sport of wrestling? So from youth and then how you got to where you were and how you are now? Yeah, um, you know, in a nutshell, um, I started when I was almost six, you know, five years old. But it was just because I had an older brother that did it. So um, with my brother doing it, I just kind of was uh, wanting to, you know, whatever he was doing was cool. And so he was wrestling, and so that's how I got into it. So it wasn't this big plan to create an Olympic champion or anything you know my family didn't they're, they're not a wrestling family um, and so you know I just uh, so I started when I was young um, I took I started taking it seriously when I was eighth ninth tenth grade wanting to wrestle in college get a scholarship get my school paid for um, get a college degree um, and then um, after going through college and having my experience uh, college level I realized I was one of the better ones in my weight class here in the States and so I took a shot at making an Olympic team and um, that's amazing I mean Olympic champion best you could possibly do yeah right? yeah not too many people get to go out on their own terms like that and so I, I feel uh, amazingly fortunate I mean other than just winning you know Olympic gold you know you must have plenty of stories you know experiences that you know once in a lifetime, right? Yeah, yeah, too many to tell. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, so what are you doing now? Uh, how are you still connected to wrestling? Okay, well, so I run the um, re uh, New York City Regional Training Center, which is under the umbrella of USA Wrestling. It supports Columbia University. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. The, uh, to a bar the, with the support behind it is Columbia. And so I'm, you know, with the uh, Columbia wrestlers just about every morning during the folk style season. And then during the summer, we're plugging those uh, those guys into, um, you know, trying to make teams, uh, wrestling in, you know, freestyle nationals, uh, UWW world team trials, that kind of thing. And so, um, yeah, so I run the regional training center. I, I promote and support Columbia wrestling and um, love and living here in the city. What does uh, an event like this today mean to you and Beat the Streets as a whole mean to you now? And uh, helping improve kids that come from lower income situations to get to you know where they are now and live great lives. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, this event, you know, I, I uh, anytime I can, I come and support Beat the Streets, and you know, I do things periodically uh, through the year uh, to support their programs. And, you know, yeah, to to have this and also to see the you know, to come in here in this beautiful venue and, and uh, uh, you know just see first of all the level of wrestling. We had some you know NCAA All Americans in there yeah. going at it. And uh, so it's cool, you know, I, I, it's cool to see the support that, that uh, the people have. The, the community of, re the wrestling community here in, you know, the New York City area, it's second to none. So I know you have a lot of stories, but if you could just share one, you know, cool story, I mean, for the people watching this, if you could think of, it, it doesn't matter what cool it is. Story. One cool story could be during your Olympic trips, during, you know, college, you know, anything. Mm, man, I'm trying to think. One cool story, like a motivating story? Anything you want. What's uh, a story that sticks out in your head? Um, well, when I was about 12 years old, 13 years old, I was starting to, you know, um, become a better wrestler. I, you know, I did it since I was five, but I didn't, you know, it was, it was among other sports that I did. You know, I played football. Stuff. So wrestling was one, but when I got into junior high, I started kind of focusing on, on the sport. And um, so there was one time that I was at this tournament in, in Reno, Nevada, where um, my uh, where, uh, Dave Schultz, you guys have heard of Dave Schultz, right? So Dave Schultz, he, he apparently he watched one of my matches. And so when I came off the mat, he came up to me, little me, you know, 13, 14 years old, and said, uh, hey, man, I saw that thing you did, you know, man, that was really cool, you know, you know the movie you did. And um, it just meant the world to me that, you know, Dave Schultz comes up and That's awesome, asks me about my 
Simon when he's Dave Schultz, but that's also the way he was. He was a, <laughs> yeah. he was a gem, you know. And um, so that you know, that's a good story for kids. Awesome. Thank you very much. You bet.